Hi guys, welcome to another video of Biantiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and today we're going to take a look at a group of storybook figurines by Bezik that I've recently purchased in a car boot sale at Gatley Gear. And we're going to see whether or not there's any value in these anymore. So stay tuned. Okay, just quickly before we get going guys, if you love antiques, collectibles, you're in the reseller business, then don't forget to subscribe because my channel's all about how-to videos. I go out buying antiques and I show you what everything's worth and how to identify it. So stake your claim guys, make sure you subscribe. If the videos help you and you like them, I would really appreciate a like and a share to help me keep creating videos. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's get to it then, guys. As I've said, uh, Gatling Gear Car Boot Sale have shut down now, um, but a couple of weeks ago, I purchased a collection of these little figurines. Now, you'll have to excuse the passing traffic. I'm sorry, it's awful busy this morning out there. Now, most of these are, if not all, are produced by Bezik, or Bezwick, whichever way you want to pronounce it. And we're going to take a look at these figurines and what they're worth on eBay. Now, we start off, anyway, they all cost me £5 each across the board. Uh, this one here is Little Pig Robinson by Beswick. Now, what does affect these, I know, is the back stamp. What you're looking for is the gold back stamp. Um, and I will show you that by the end of the day. Here we have Miss Muppet. And again, similar sort of back stamp. This one here is Hanukkah Manukkah Sweepin. A <laughs> little, little mouse sweepin. They were always quite comical, these characters. We have Daisy Bannikins. Now, this one is by Royal Dalton. It's not the same manufacturer as the others, a Bezik. Bannikins was always very desirable, so we'll find out again what she's worth. And we have Benjamin Bunny. Got people going crazy for this character at the moment on the 50 pence pieces. And that's what he looks like, in, uh, looks like as a porcelain figurine. As you can see, these are all the standard back stamp. They're not the gold back stamp or the oval back stamp. And this one is Jemima Puddle Duck. I just paid £10 for Jemima Puddle Duck, 50 pence piece for a customer. So... Now that's the group I've had, £30 there that owes me. Now if you go back 10 years, they used to sell specialist books on just these figurines, storybook figures they used to call them, and at the back they'd have all the different uh, back stamps, you know, from the gold back stamp uh, all the way down to B, C and so forth. And the value would depend then on the back stamp and the issue number. This day and age, you don't get them type of books because the prices vary so much on eBay. But what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at how much these characters are on eBay with the highest with the gold back stamp and the lowest being the cheapest. And then just to finish off, I'll probably have a little search for storybook figures or Beswick figures and things like that and just see what pulls money to see if they're still worth buying, guys. So stay tuned. Let's go and have a look. Okay. So we're going to start off here with the uh, first character which we do and is Benjamin Bunny. As you can see there's a slight variation to this Benjamin Bunny as in the colour of his uh, jacket and things. There's mine. However I wanted to pull it up just to show you there's always exceptions to the rules. This one here had a bid at £499.99 for what is a transitional prototype apparently. And we come across here to, if it gets down there, that's the one I've got, the standard one. However, this is the gold back stamp, 2B. And I'm going to show you the back stamp now in comparison to the back stamp I have got. So there's the gold back stamp they've got. And side by side, there's my back stamp. You can clearly see the difference. Moving along again, we come down to 
Let me see which one this was. Oh, yeah. $18 or £13.68 for the one I got, guys. So you can see the variance on price from the last one there to this one. What was the last one's worth? Sorry. Uh, £135 with the gold back stamp down to £14 with the standard back stamp. There are other ones slightly dearer than that and other variations. But as you can see, most of them with the standard back stamp don't go for much money at all. That's the one I just clicked on there. There's another there, 12 pound. Anyway, we'll leave it by there. We'll move on with the next character, guys. Okay, guys. So the next one we're going to look at here is Miss Moppet, which was the uh, little cat there holding what looks to be a uh, blanket and a mouse. Anyway, now the first one here sold for £78 and it's got the gold circle back stamp. So if we come down here, it shows you the back stamp there. That's this gold circle, and that is back stamp number 1A. And that sold for £78. You come across then to the exact same figure, which is back stamp 2A, sold for £35. And let's give you a little look at the back stamp on this one. There's the back stamp on this one. And then we come down even further, guys, to 20 quid. And there will be some cheaper, I can guarantee you that, before anyone says anything. And we have the back stamp we have, which is this one, which I believe is back stamp 3C. So that's where we're at with uh, Miss Moppet. Okay, so we're going to have a look now at the Be Beswick Beatrix Potter Little Pig Robinson Backstamp 1A Gold Circle. Now, as you can see, this one sold for £31 as a gold stamp, so less money again. Let's move across. There's the uh, Gold Circle Backstamp one. Not the best picture by them, but uh, you can see where the backstamp is nonetheless. And we come across here, there's not a lot of different variations on these back stamps that are actually currently up for me to show you. Although I think there's six or seven different variations. And we come down here, and this is the back stamp I think we have, which is the standard back stamp. Let me just double check. There's mine. Pretty much the same stamp, and that one's selling for a tenner. So, not brilliant. These figures have really dropped in price over the years. You really need something quite rare to pull the money now. Okay, I thought I'd change it up a bit this time, and I've searched for the Royal Dalton Bunnykins Daisy instead for this one. And there's only four results for her sold, and it starts at £25. And comes all the way down to £8.35. And you've got international sellers, but I'm not worried about that. Um, so, there's your prices on uh, Daisy Bunnykin. As you can see, there's a huge discrepancy on sales with eBay. You know, always is. Okay, guys, so i <laughs> just done a search for the basic... Jemima Puddle Ducks, and there's three whole results have come up. One's a music box, so you have the first one there, which is boxed for £28. And then we come down here to £13.75 for one that's not boxed. So nothing very exciting there, to be totally honest with you. We just got one left now, and then we'll have a little look at the dearest we can find. Okay, I've searched for the Beswick Hanukkah Sweeping. Now, you've already seen some of the back stamps. I'm not going to go into showing you the back stamps now. I'm just going to show you the differences in prices on this one. 
there was 32 results for this figure so this is a more popular figure highest price is 29 pounds there's another there, 20 pounds, 15, 14, 12, 50, 12 pound with a box, 11 pound odd, down to a tenner. Ten is an average price on these, to be honest with you. They seem to be doing all right for that. All the way down to eight pounds. I mentioned earlier that they'd done specialist books on these storybook figurines. Now here's one, Storybook Figurines, it covers Roald Dalton, Royal Albert and Beswick and it's the 8th edition. So if anybody wants to um, get this book, just to give you an idea, and it will have all the back stamps in there. Now you'll be able to get these off eBay, off Adol or AB Books or one of those. I don't know if it's got the ISBN number, let me have a quick look for you. Does it come with an ISBN? No, it's not really. Sorry, guys, but you're just going to have to search title, okay? But you can get them, and they were four quid. So if you want the book, they're cheap enough. Okay, guys, so just to finish off now, I have done a little search on Beswick Gold Stamps. I just want to see what come up. And we have a Jemima Puddle Deck plaque here, sold for £750 by Beswick with the gold stamp. Um, another plaque there, best offer of a thousand pound. You got the Beswick Annual Guinea Pig, uh, back stamp number two, oval gold, hundred twenty five or best offer. And these are the back stamps I searched on, guys. Um, Lady Mouse, obviously the gold back stamps are the rarest and the dearest. That's why I've searched them. Tom Kitten, £90. These are all best offers, by the way. Uh, so there's going to be a slight di difference in the prices. Jer Jeremy Fisher, £56 sold. That's just to give you an idea, guys, all right? They are still worth buying, but to be honest with you, I'd either buy them cheap as hell or buy only gold stamps. <laughs> what can I say? Um, it give you a bit of an eye-opener as to whether or not it's worth buying these anymore. And I can assure you, paying a fiver each is as much as I would pay for a standard back stamp on any of these storybook figurines. I know pretty confident in my shop here, I'm going to put £12 each on them and I'm going to get that or at least a tenner each for the figures. It's doubling my money and it's something that, to be honest with you, people do like to buy still. If the price is right, they still sell. And a ten and £12 each, that's the price is right. If you see the gold back stamps, the oval gold or the circle gold back stamps, they're the ones that are pulling more money so you can afford to pay a little bit more for them. Um, don't forget the Bezic in gold in a circle is the back stamp number one and the oval one is number two. They're the ones you're looking for. But again, don't go crazy because some of them are only selling for 20, 30 pounds. Um, I still buy them. I still like to have them. People, you know, when they see them, they come into the shop, so they are still worth buying. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to leave it there. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, brilliant. Um, I would appreciate a like and a share, guys. Um, and I wish you all the luck in the world on uh, finding some rare figures. <laughs> guys, you'll find me on Facebook. I have a page and a group, Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay. My seller ID is Antiques Arena Clearance. I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or you can come see me in the shop. If you live local or localish, it's Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mount Ash, Charlie Foxtrot, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. Guys, been a pleasure. Bye for now.